Hey everybody, this is Tinfoil Matt. I do apologize for the absence of my tinfoil hat since I'm too lazy to go up and get it. But uh, here I, but here I am uh, making good on my promise to uh, start commenting on local news, kind of like what uh, mundane Matt would do because, well, he's got to be doing something right. So anyway, I'm going to comment on local news, and the first one that I'm going to talk about is a local to Idaho, at least, story of dog runs, <clears throat> excuse me, dog reunited with owners after nine months in the wild. Now, this one, this one's definitely a little dear to my heart because, you know, I, I had a very sweet dog like this in, for about 13 years of my life, so, uh, it's kind of crazy to me that uh, a dog would survive out in the wild for that long and and come back. But uh, you know, here we are dealing with stupid ads on this uh, page. You know, you should really fix that, KTVB. But uh, the article starts off with, At first glance, Mo looks like any average 14-year-old dog. I think I just got the mail. <laughs> and actually, she is far from average. In, in fact, she could speak she would have an incredible story to tell. It would start nine months ago when uh, Mo and her owners, Darwin and Cindy Cameron, went on a hunting trip, and that's a very common thing for, you know, uh, Idahoans to do with that kind of dog. And then uh, it kind of, you know, the article goes on to say, you know, it went bad somehow, and Mo went missing, and then, you know, months with, you know, they, um, couldn't find the dog, and a lot, a lot of time went by. You know, they'd sometimes get you know random reports of a dog, you know, being seen and whatnot, and you know, up, up in the area. You know, they would. Um, you know, they'd keep thinking, you know, oh, maybe she's dead, maybe she's not, as it, as it goes, but. Um, on uh, June 26, well, well after their hunting trip, as you you can imagine, uh, Darwin and Cindy found their hearts were to be right. Mo was found collapsed near a horseshoe bend, and was brought to uh, Sherry Glanker, Glankler's home. And Sherry, had, you know, and this is serendipitous because uh, this Sherry has been. Uh, you know, rescuing dogs, apparently, for two decades. So, you know, that's cool. you got to be a good person, at least, to do that. Uh, when I looked up, I could truly believe it was her, that this is her, you know, that, you know the dog that they were, you know, hearing about. Uh, you know, she made it, but apparently she lost 50% uh, uh, of her body weight. And, you know, for a dog, that's... That's actually kind of bad. That's amazing that she survived. So, and apparently there's some scratch marks and bite marks, and you know, you, you, you don't survive out in the wild with at least some sort of mark like that. You know, and, uh, you know, Cindy looks up at Darwin and goes, I think it's her, I feel it's her, smells like it's her, etc. I looked at her and said, I think you have your girls back and whatnot, and... And, you know, it's just one of those uh, feel-good stories about, uh, you know, she gets confused, and I think it's a lack of hearing, and if she can't see us, she's really confused. You know, that dog probably went blind out there for some reason or another. You know, and, uh, and everyone, you know, who hears, you know, most story wonder how she did it. She wasn't, you know, the article ends with, you know, the dog wasn't going to give up until she got home. And uh, for some dogs, I really do believe that kind of thing. So, anyway, uh, that was my first news story video. Y'all have a good day.